Yet another building collapsed in Lagos that has claimed lives at the Akambi Crescent Onike Yaba suburb of Lagos about four months after a 21 star building collapsed at Ikoyi in the same Lagos. Is this another back and forth for the coroner's inquest to the building collapse in the country? Also, there have been many attacks by terrorists, bandits, and armed robbers, unknown gunmen as well, on citizens in the country. But the recent attacks and killings of policemen who are supposed to protect the life and property across the country is worrisome. We'll also be looking at the papers this Monday morning on a bumper package of the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. A very good morning to you. It's a brand new weekend. We are back with a breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bertels. We have a bumper package for you with an interesting guest to analyze the situation in the country, um, the ravaging insecurity, and the recent unfortunate building collapse in the Yaba area of Lagos. And of course, uh, we have uh, the latest from today's national dailies as we analyze this with a guest this morning. But before we do all these, let's uh, get into the top trending stories that we've been monitoring over the weekend once again you're welcome we start with this one uh, vice president yami oshibajo um, has been uh, um you know talking a lot recently making appearances and some suspect that this is not unconnected to an ambition a perceived ambition uh, to be president or to make a run for the president uh, presidency in 2023 where well, he was recently at an event and he was captured um singing surprisingly a song by a young nigerian artist ruga titled dior and um you know it got a lot of people surprised because um they wouldn't expect that uh, someone uh, of the age and stature of Nigeria's vice president will even know uh, this song, not to talk of singing the song. And he sang the word of the song correctly. Um, the song titled Dior is one of the hot songs in Nigeria at the moment. Lots of airplay on radio stations, on TV stations, um, lots of streaming online. And um, of course, um, Nigerians were left stunned. Um, and the people took to social media um, to you know, give their responses, their reactions to um, the singing of Ruga's popular anthem, Dior. Um, of course, the president was um, addressing the audience at the UBA Group's 2022 Chairman's Forum. And uh, he sang the song with the lyrics, Bad man looking good in Dior. That's really surprising. You know, bad man looking good in Dior. Um, it, it was really surprising. And the song was released by Ruga in Nigerian uh, artist Ruga in 2021 and has been a hit song all over the country. Um, uh, the vice president was on the podium to address guests at that summit. Uh, the video shows uh, the former chief executive officer or the managing director rather of um uh, of uba bank of the united bank for africa um sorry uh, you know laughing and enjoying uh, the pleasant surprise of seeing uh, the president the vice president rather singing um bad man looking good in dior and talking about drip and all that it, it was quite quite surprising and uh, he, he mouthed the lyrics and his actions spurred different reactions from members of the public you know, apart from Tony and Lumelu, um, they didn't expect this at all. What are Nigerians saying about this? Well, some Nigerians are, you know, narrowing it down to politics. You know, we can't leave politics out of any discussion in this country. And some Nigerians are narrowing it down to politics. Um, someone said his media boys are doing a good job. You know, um, they think that this is just um, something to get uh, the young people on his side ahead of a perceived or expected run uh, for the presidency in 2023. Some feel it's a, it's a media stunt, uh, publicity stunt. Others feel the vice president um, is cool to have done this. Um, uh, someone said he's at least up to date with what is happening around, not uh, like some uh, other people or not like his ogre uh, that's only talking about grazing roots is one what, what, what one of the uh, Nigerian commented on this had to say. It's quite interesting um, uh, to see the politicians, you know, uh, especially someone as old as vice president singing, you know, 
bad man looking good in the oh. it, it was really surprising. And, and I mean, impersonally, I've had to, I, I can't get a song out of my head. I haven't had it out of my head since I saw that video. It was quite uh, cute, some would say, you know. Um, but, but interestingly, Nigerians have now gone on to pick some videos and pictures of politicians doing, um, uh, you know, unexpected things uh, ahead of elections. For instance, uh, there was a video shared of uh, former Senator Distinguished uh, Dino Melai uh, carrying a tray hawking on his head. Um, there was a, a picture shared of uh, Bola Metinbo sipping uh, what looks like a Chapman or a soft drink with a youngster from the same glass through a straw, you know, and saying, well, these are the things that politicians do ahead of the elections. Interesting development there. Um, let's move on to look at um, the an event on uh, something that happened, a picture that was taken at the just concluded Lagos City Marathon. Of course, the marathon was uh, dominated by the Ethiopians yet again, uh, showing class at that marathon, both in the men's and the women's categories. Um, uh, Ulaf Ofata Gelata claimed uh, the first position in the men's race, while his compatriot uh, Dagny uh, Siranesh Yirga finished ahead of all the other runners in the women's race. But this was not what caught the attentions of Nigerians, you know, or the attention of Nigerians, especially on social media. It was the picture of a young man running in, guess what, an Agbada, like you can see on your screen. Um, very bizarre, you might say. Uh, we haven't seen anything like this. And the fact that it rained that day made it a very more bizarre situ scenario. You know, uh, one, one, one poster who one, was one of the first who shared this online uh, on Twitter said, how you go where I better go around for marathon? It was a big question that people had to now start answering online. And you can see... It looks comfortable, <laughs> you know, it looks comfortable, not just the Agbada, but also the cap to boot as well. Um, it was quite a sight at the Lagos City Marathon that was a huge success, um, by the way. Um, you know, especially with the rain, people were asking, why was he wearing this? Um, so I said, oh, it's good that the man is promoting Nigeria's culture and heritage at such an event. Um, but it was quite a bizarre one, yet interesting want to see um that's it on our trending segment um hope you enjoyed it we'll be right back on the other side quite a bizarre weekend um you would agree we'll be right back um to dive straight into the news reports and analysis as we look at the stories on the front pages of the national dailies stay with us as you're watching the breakfast on plus tv africa <laughs> 